Hi, good day everybody. Here's one more exciting chapter for Sage for you to follow and complete your next chapter called Chapter Fields. Where is it? Go to your course and in your course week number six or week number seven, you are able to see Chapter Fields. I put the entitle as Chapter Fields. Click on it and you have two items in this folder. One is called data file link and one is your chapter number five, which is drawing fields. So how to download this file to work on, click on it and it will give you instructions, data file link fields. Please click here and download fields folder on your local computer. I click on it. This window will open and then click on the word download. Click on the word download on your right hand side. Do not click on this, click on the word download. As soon as you click on it, download, it will go in your download folder. Let's check it out. Download folders. You have the download folder right in here. You're able to see chapter fields.zip and chapter fields. So once it's download, it is a zip file, guys. It is a zip file. Means we have to unzip it first to use it. So I right click on it, I right click, right click on it, and then unzip it, extract all. Once I unzip it, it will show you me a folder something like this. It will show me a folder something like called chapter fields. It's become unzip and it opens. Now, in here, we have the chapter fields, which is in zip and the chapter fields, which is unzip. Double click on it. It will open up chapter fields, chapter fields, and then you are able to see two items. One is a folder. One is a blue icon, which is fields. This is your data file, guys. This is where you're going to start your working. Double click on it. That will open up your database. That will open up your database and we will start working on this database. Now, Please make sure you only click on once because a couple of students we are be having difficulty. They click, keep clicking on it and it will, sh it will show you that it will not open the database. Reason why? Because you open it too many times. Now, it will ask me the date. Karan comes to me, ask me, sir, where are we going to read that information? So, go in here and go to your chapter, growing fields. You're able to see this. Follow the instructions, which is in black or blue. So bold black, what does it say? It says type 7th of May 2019. Either you have an option, type it or go to calendar 7th of May. Press OK. I press OK. That will open up my database. So now my database is ready to work on. Now I'm going to read step by step on my chapter and then record my transactions. So three things always remember. We are going to read the question. We're going to analyze the question, which means solve. And then we are going to record the question. So Karan comes to me, sir. This time, what are we doing? We are going to work on accounting for purchases. Guys, what do you mean purchases? When we are purchased something, read it if you want to. All supply related transaction can be entered from a payables module window. Guys, why payable? Because when we purchase something, we have to pay, right? So that is what is called payables. Now, this is my main screen window, main software window right in here. Here's a question given to me. The first transaction in is a normal purchase invoice that will be paid later. So in here, this is my question. Purchase invoice number DS-642, date is May 1st, 2019 from data savers, 1320 plus 198 HST for offsite data backup and restoration services for one year. Invoice total 1518 terms net 30. So I have read the question. First again, reading the question, analyze, solving the question. So we read the question, analyze and solve. 1320 plus HST, which is 13% is 198 and total is 1,518. 
this question is solved guys where is that information it's given to you our tick mark in here that means this question is solved so we are going to read step by step and complete record this question on our database on our sage software the information the last line which is called terms net 30 what does that mean terms net 30 guys term net 30 this is what means term net 30 this is what it means terms 210 and 30 so 210 and 30 any kind of term can be given to you it will be the same meaning so 210 and 30 means 2% so there is four different transactions in here four different values in here which have four different meanings let's explain it quickly so we understand 2% this 2 is 2% how to read it I will give you 2% discount 10 if you pay me full amount in 10 days so whatever amount it is if you give me in 10 days I'll give you 2% discount N otherwise pay me full amount which is N amount in 30 days so this is how we are going to read it so in our question the term is given to us as net 30 means we're going to work on only the last two lines n30 otherwise pay me full amount in 30 days so we understand this now for example Karan comes to me ask me sir can I change 115 and 45 yes absolutely in that case I'll give you 1% discount if you pay me in 15 days otherwise pay me full amount which is n in 45 days so it does not matter whatever term is given to you this will be always the meaning of that term and the answer if the term is given to you the answer is always pay later why because we are given a promise that we will pay you this amount on a later date so now next step is we're going we read the question we understand we analyze the question we solve the question now we're going to record the question in here the first thing click the purchase invoice icon perfect okay purchase invoice icon so i click either purchase invoice icon or click on the side button right here it will tell me three options which is again create invoice so in this case i am creating an invoice in here i'm going to read from the sage software um, the ground fields and then start recording the transaction first thing payment method pay later why take a look how many options do we have are we paying cash check or direct deposit we're paying with a term means pay later then I always suggest people to go from left to right to record this it would be easy for you to understand your information pay later next one an invoice number what is an invoice number guys given to us in our question invoice number is DS-642 always remember invoice number cannot start with a hashtag it will either start with the number or with the with the alphabet so in this case it will start with ds-642 date is already given to us what is the date given to us may the first so punch in may the first then the name of the company is given to us what's the name of the company in the question it says from data savers click on data savers automatically information comes on now next thing we're going to put item description so it would be as advisable for you if you open up your ground fields on your phone and your sage on your computer then you can work that together easily so next one from the question it will tell you from data savers thirteen hundred and twenty dollars plus 198 HST for off-site data backup and restoration service so I browse it down find out what I'm going to write and where 
So in item description, it says write down data backup service price guys think about it is it telling you in the question is it one hard drive four hard drives six hard drive 20 hard drives we're going to retrieve the data we have tons of hard drives did we mention how many hard drives no so that means we do not have a per item price we have the lump sum amount which is thirteen hundred and twenty dollars so press tab two times go to amount and punch in thirteen hundred and twenty dollars as soon as you punch in thirteen hundred twenty dollars hst automatically comes there which is 198 check it with your question yes it is the right amount and then the account number it automatically comes on press the tab button always comes out of the transaction at the bottom please check your subtotal according to your question 1320 plus 198 plus is equal to $1,518 according to your question net 30 days is your term given to you right here which is the answer pay later check the invoice number date again question done no we are going to do the last thing which is taking a report click on the report display purchase entry make sure both sides your debit and credit is balancing yes it is then I am ready to save or post so in here there's no save button guys but we have a button called post click on post and it will save my transaction in here it will tell you the transaction was posted successfully press OK and the transaction was posted successfully question number one done guys okay so this is how we are going to do one by one all the questions next one next question question number two is given to you right on page number 117 and this question is solved as well why because it have a tick mark right in here it says purchase invoice number CS-1243 May 1st 2019 from Corp from Crop Savers $640 for soil testing and follow-up fertilizer treatment plus 96 HST invoice total $736 term 110 and 30 store as weekly recurring entry so this time Karan asked me sir what is the term so 110 and 30 again do not get confused yourself one i'll give you one percent discount if you pay me in 10 days otherwise pull pay me full amount which is n in 30 days simple as that now let's start recording we we read the question we analyze the question now let's record the question go to your state software purchase this is a purchase invoice so we are going to create an invoice Okay, so I'm going to read that from my phone and start recording that on my computer. So first thing, it's pay later. Why? Because there is a term given to us. Invoice number is given to us, which is CS, CS-1243. Data is also given to us May 1st. 2019 supplier is given to us crop savers automatically comes on the information and then now what did we do guys we have done item field we have soil testing so I write soil testing soil testing and uh, follow-up follow up fertilizer treatment plus treatment then how much is it telling you one kilo soil four kilos five kilos no it is not giving you per item it is giving you total amount so what is the total amount guys six hundred and forty dollars and press tab as soon as you put six hundred and forty dollars your $96 automatically being calculated just to make sure this is right I click on the tax 
we have four options no tax h means hst at 15 percent hi means hst is included in the price and z means no tax so in this case because in the question it is given to us 640 dollars plus the 96 dollars that's why we are going to use h which is hst at 15 percent select Karan ask me sir why 15 percent because Karan this is some uh, uh, st uh, some state which charge hst that's not ontario ontario has 13 percent good question though so in this case now we come out of our transaction and then take a look at the transaction six hundred and forty dollars ninety six dollars and total is seven hundred and thirty six dollars this is exactly according to our question now the last thing which we are going to look at is called 110 and 30 the term is also given to us right here 110 and 30 it's complete 110 and 30 now are we missing anything yes in the last line it so it says store as a weekly recurring entry means this event soil testing happening every week so where can we get that information or put that information guys we have two buttons right here do not click on the button bring your mouse and it will tell you store as a recurring transaction click on it and it will tell you the frequency so right now the frequency is monthly but in our question it says weekly click on the small arrow becomes weekly press ok so my transaction is complete now i have submitted all the information which is given to us in the question now we want to post it no wait we want to take a look at the report first always guys click on report display purchase entry both sides balancing yes they are now i am satisfied and i can post it and i got the message the transaction was posted successfully press ok and close this window close only the transaction window guys do not close your main software window next one next question question number two done next question is talking about accounting for payments again when we have the payments that means we sell something and we are going to use it in receivables or under payments take a look let's take a look where the payments are in your notes it will tell you the payments where is this payments payments is right in here guys purchase invoice and the payment icon is right here so we are going to work on the payments so let's read the next question and do the next question it says payment check number 171 dated may 2nd 2019 to data savers 780 dollars in partial payments of account reference invoice number ds-361 current comes to me sir this question is solved yes because this has a right mark on it so that means this one is solved okay so we read the question now we are going to start recording the question in here click on your sage go payments and in payments maximize this window so you're able to see proper next one we're going to do step by step take a look at our transaction question what does it say it says payment by check and the check number is given to us so we have an option here by cash by check or direct deposit so we're going to do with the check and check number is also given to us how much 171 is check number date is given to us as well in the question the date is may the second then the name of the company what is the name of the company data savers click on it and we have invoices comes on in your question the invoice number is given to us please look at the question invoice number 361 ds-361 means we're talking about the first invoice so don't worry about the other invoices guys whatever invoice it is telling you in the question only deal with that question with that invoice click on it press tab press tab again and it is telling you 
partial payment in the question it says partial payment so total payment is 1200 but we are we do not have that kind of money we want to do a partial payment of 780 dollars i punch in 780 dollars then go to the second invoice then press tab are we going to pay for the second invoice no so delete it are if there will be any two three four invoices comes on we have to delete it because we only work with the first invoice right always remember whenever you have on the screen comment you must enter the comments that's very important why because comments will tell you what exactly are you trying to do with that question or with that transaction so in here try to do try to put maximum information uh, for that invoice so i'm going to put it reference invoice number d s dash three six one so at least i am given my accountant or the person who is working on sage that information that i'm paying for this invoice number 361 a partial payment of 780 dollars given to us right here so is my question done yes my question is done according to my question i submitted everything but i need to take a look at the report click on report display entry and it will tell me that 780 and 780 both sides in balancing yes they are now i am ready to save or post it so post it says the transaction was posted successfully question number three done close this window and go to your main window next question question number four after posting so so far we have done with the term next one we are going to work on entering cash purchases cash purchases so we want to work on the cash purchase let's read the question question is cash purchase invoice number Tururo-19 dated on May 2nd 2019 from Tururo City Treasure in the question the information is given to you use quick add for the new supplier so that means something we have to act we have to do exactly according what it's asking us to do so we have to add this new supplier into our sage software how much 1425 for annual property taxes paid by check number 172 so let's do it this question is solved why because it has a tick mark in it in here it says pay purchase invoices so we are going to pay purchase invoices then it says make the other payment and pay expenses so let's take a look payments and in here pay purchase invoices pay expenses i click on pay expenses this window will open and we will start working recording in this window how so first thing first in the question we have the invoice uh, we have the check number given to us check number is 172 so i put 172 what is the date guys the date is given to us may the 2nd then it is telling you from the from suppliers pick up a supplier called truro city center so a city treasure but problem is it's not there so we are going to write manually truro city treasure and then press tab automatically once you press tab it this window will open and remember in the question it says use quick add for the new supplier so read this information and it will tell you select continue to go without adding use quick add to add only the name select full add to complete information select cancel to enter a different supplier name so in the question it will telling you press the quick add click quick add it will add the supplier into our database then click on the account in here what account we're going to pick up it's in here the account number 5160 so 
these are the account numbers and these are the account names guys we go to 5160 account 5160 so 5160 account number is called property taxes click on it the property tax account comes right here description what is the description guys according to your question the description is annual property taxes so I punch in annually property taxes amount total is 1425 punch it in and would there be taxes in there there's no taxes guys there's no taxes for this so we don't worry about it total comes to one thousand four hundred and twenty five dollars right in here but in this window most important things two important things actually in here one is called invoice reference and one is comment do not leave these comments or invoice references empty always try to fill as much information as you can so in here write down to rural dash one nine and in here comments to rural dash one nine dash annual property taxes so the person who is using or looking at he would or he or she would know what exactly happening with this transaction or if you are looking coming back to this transaction you know what exactly you have done in this transaction so you paid basically for your annual property taxes how much 1425 on what date what is the check number what is your account number all the information right here and what's the name of the client Truro 19 so this is how my transaction is done no last step is remaining go report display payment options debit is equal with credit both sides balancing yes they are done my transaction yes you're ready to post it now so I click on post the transaction was posted successfully press ok close this window and go back to your main window next one we're going to work on question number five and the heading is adding a new supplier record okay so in here we have three major one is purchase invoice we work on it payments and now we are going to work on the supplier how let's read the question first memo number 12 dated may 3rd 2019 add a new record for buy more that's the name of the company contact name is bs follow it located at 447 slick street halifax nova scotia this is the postal b3b bj5 telephone number and email is given to us so this information is given to us the system wants us or your book wants us to record the new supplier Let's do that. It says click the supplier icon right in here. So icon, I click on the icon and click on the new create. I have this window open. Now I'm going to start recording my supplier in here. So what's the name of the supplier? Buy. It's exactly the same way. It is given you in the question. So by B capital M capital. What is the name? B dot space S dot follow it. Then the street number. Street number is given to us. What is the street number? 447 slick street. And then the city is Halifax. Province is Nova Scotia. Postal code is given to us B3B 8J5 Canada. Phone number 902-564-8907. Then the email address. Follow it at buymore.ca. And then the website is not given to us but a date is given to us supplier since so the date is given to us which is May the 3rd so I click on May the 3rd next one we have some tabs in here which we have to complete 
we were in address tab now click on the option tab expense account in expense account click on here and pick up an account which is associated with this transaction or with this supplier what's the name or what's the number 5020 it is given to you on your notes 5020 advertising and promotion then it is also telling you net due in net due in within one day so we're only giving them a one day chance early payments and then choose for payment method choose it says pay later but we want to choose this as check for this supplier so both sides have to be check nothing else to change in here then go to the taxes tab in here we like to charge tax so for that where is that information pick up it says choose the tax please if you want to uh, if you make change this to yes that means tax exempt means they don't have to pay tax no means they have to pay tax where right in here choose the tax code that includes the taxes that this supplier normally charges you so in here they are charging us the tax so we are putting tax in here hst at 15 percent the tax tab is done direct deposit canada bank account no nothing to change statistics nothing to change in here memo yes memo is given to us in the question so we write memo number 12 you can write 12 only do not start with hashtag so either with the 12 or memo number 12 import export nothing to change additional nothing to change t4 nothing to change then you have a button save and close save and close we save and close and take a look at your main screen your buy more it automatically comes right here if you click on it the information you punch in you it will display for you right in there so we close this and now we will do the question for this supplier so now let's do the question for this supplier we add the supplier we're going to do the question on page number 128 question number six we're going to record this question let's read the question first cash purchase invoice number bm3492 dated is may 3rd 2019 from buy more 1200 plus 180 hst for updating online sales catalog term cash on receipt means we are going to pay on cash on receipt invoice total 1380 dollars paid in full by check number 173 so we did the question now we analyze the question we solve the question 1200 multiply 180 1380 we know we paid with the check check number is given to us we're going to record this question now so we go in here and we go in here now and because this is a purchase invoice we click on it purchase invoice and start recording it so in here the first thing first how are we paying we're paying with the check so what was the check check number 173 given to you in the question next one the invoice number invoice number is also given to you in the question bm-3492 then the date is given to us may the 3rd then the name of the supplier click on the small arrow and pick up the supplier what's the name of the supplier buy more now you're able to see it buy more as soon as you click on buy more everything comes on right here which you already punched in and the account number comes in automatically too in here what are we doing we are buying something for updating online sales catalogs okay so item description we're going to write it updating online sales catalog then price is it one catalog two four five six that information is not given to us so we don't worry about it this is not a per piece item it's a total amount so click on the amount how much twelve hundred dollars as soon as you do twelve hundred dollars one hundred and eighty dollars automatically calculated which is the x at fifteen percent take a look at your question subtotal twelve hundred hst 180 and total is 1380 this is exactly the amounts are given to you 
in the question. Then take a look, early payment discount. Is there any early payment information given to you in the question? Not at all. Total comes to $3,980. My question done? No. I would like to take a look at the report. Display, journal, journal entry, both sides balancing. Yes, they are. Now I am ready to post it. Invoice received. So as soon as we receive the invoice, we are going to make the payment. Press post. The transaction was posted successfully. Press OK. Close this window. Go back to your main window. So question number six done. We are moving to question number seven now. Adjusting a posted invoice. So we are going to work on an invoice which we already created. Now we are going to adjust that invoice. Let's read the question. Current comes to me, sir. This question is solved. Yes, it is. Why? Because it has a mark in it. Means memo number 13, date May 4, 2019. From owner, adjust invoice DS642. Remember, guys, we made this invoice. The invoice from data savers included a one time charge of $350 plus $5250 HST to restore system and recover data after data was compromised. The corrected invoice total is $1920.50. So, we already solved the question means we know the memo, the date and the total uh, calculations. We know about it. If we add this into our previous invoice, total should comes to $1920.50. So question is already been solved. The third part, which we are going to record it now. Let's do the recording. It says click the adjust invoice tool. Let's go to the Sage software. Now this time we are going to adjust it. So click on the small arrow about purchase invoices and you are able to see adjust invoice. Click on adjust invoice, press OK. In the question, it is telling you which invoice you want to adjust. DS642, double click on it and it will open up your invoice. So in here, your invoice is already here. Now take a look. First thing first, how are we paying? No information given to us. That means pay later. Then invoice number. Invoice number DS642, nothing to change in here. Date. Yes, we have to change the date because now this time we are adjusting the invoice. Date is May 4th, 2019. Change the date. Data saver. Data backup service 198.13.20. So what it needs, it needs to add something in here. What is going to add in here? So, to restore, do not write anything from your own side, guys. Read the question. Everything is given to you in the question. To restore system and recover data after data was compromised. Promised. So how much is that for? Again, would that be given to you one piece by piece? No, it is giving you the total amount. How much is the total amount, guys? $350. The total taxes automatically calculated for you. Account number is automatically comes on. Come out of this transaction. Please take a look. Check your invoice with the question given to you. Total invoice to $1,670. $250 as an HST. Total comes to $1,920.50. Exact amount which is given to you in the question. Net 30 days, amount owing this much. We have checked everything, yes. Take a look at the invoice number one more time, date again. Yes, we have completed our transaction. No, question is, we're going to take a look at the report. Both sides balancing, yes, both sides are balancing. I am ready to now post it. The transaction was posted successfully. Press OK, close this come out of the transaction. Next one, question number eight. So let's go to question number eight and it is page number 131, early discount for early payments. So here is the question for you. Payment check number 174, May 4th, 2019 to crop savers 792 in payment of account, including $8 discount for early payment Reference invoice number CS-1044. So this invoice is, is already there, guys. We just have to give it a 
early discount. So we need to find this payment first and do the payments. So this is a payment. Remember, payment check. So this is a payment. Let's go to the sales software and get the payments. Payments in here. What is the check number? Check number is check number 174. What is the date given to us? May the 4th. So change May the 4th. Remember, we do not have to create this invoice, guys. It's already there. Where? Click on Crop Savers. This invoice automatically, two invoices, comes automatically in front of you. Now, which invoice we are going to work on? Read the question. Invoice number 1044. CS1044. Click on it. Press tab. $8 discount automatically comes on. And payment amount. $792 according to your question comes on automatically. Now, tab again. It will go to the second line. You're not so you're not giving any information about CS1243. So delete it. In here, delete amount. Then next one, comment. I'm able to see a comment here, guys. Please, please never ever leave the comment empty. So reference invoice number CS-1044. Completed? Yes. I have completed my question. No, I am going to take a look at the report to complete the question. Display payments. Click on it. Both sides balancing. Yes, they are. Now click on post. I post it. The transaction was posted successfully. Come out of this window. Go back to your main Sage window. Next one, question number nine. Let's read the question number nine and using continue to enter new suppliers so what is question number nine guys it's been solved yes it is solved cash purchase invoice ap-5899 may 7 2019 for anything on paper again that's the name of the company anything on paper it says choose continue so remember the question we have done choose quick add same thing here choose continue so this we have to create a new supplier 320 plus 48 HST to create and printing packages for selling seeds. Use seed suppliers account. So it is informing us we have to use this account. Invoice total $368 paid in full by check number 175. So this is our question. We read the question. We solve the question. So 320 plus 48, it's 368. We solve the question. We know now how is the payment is pay by check. What's the name of the company? Anything on paper? Date is given to us May 7th. We read, we analyze, and now we are going to record. Where? On the Sage software. So in here, purchase, click on purchase invoice. Now, first thing first, how are we being going to pay? With the check. Check number comes automatically, 175. Yes. What's the invoice number? AP-5899, what's the date? May 7th, supplier name, click on the small arrow, take a look at your supplier, it's not there. So you have to punch the supplier exactly what it says in there. Anything on paper. So anything A capital and P capital. Press tab. It says continue, quick add and full add. In your question, it says choose continue. Press OK. So I choose continue. Now, next thing it says in here, what did we purchase? We purchase to create and print packages for selling seeds. OK, so create and print packages for selling seeds. Does it tell you how many seats, guys? One, two, four, nine? No, it's not given to us. So that means we're going to put this into amount. How much amount? $320. And would there be a HST? Yes, there is an HST. So we're going to click on the tax and choose H. So once we choose select H, it automatically calculates for you $48.
and in here account in the question it is alarming or it is giving you a suggestion it is telling you which invoice which account number you are going to use click on the magnifying glass and pick up a uh, account which says seed supplies so let's look at it one by one seed supplies the account number 1300 click on it press select so it automatically comes in here now come out of this first entry take a look at your transaction $320 48 is your HST $368 is your total yes there's information of early payments no there's no information nothing to worry about check number is good invoice number is good data is good yes we have completed our question take a look at the report both sides balancing yes both sides balancing yes now we are ready to post it the transaction posted successfully press ok close this window and go back to your main window so question number nine completed next question question number ten so now current comes to me sir question number ten does not have a mark in it that means it is not solved for you this is for you to solve let's do it together so in here let's read the question cash purchase invoice bf-100 dated may 7 2019 for better foods choose quick add for the new supplier so it is telling you here that we have to choose quick add the supplier is not there 95 to purchase food for weekly appreciation barbecue for employees issue check number 176 charge to entertainment expense account it is telling you that it would be an entertainment account no tax is charged means no tax means there's z account z for tax on basic groceries so question arises what are the basic groceries your milk your eggs and your bread store the transaction as weekly recurring entry so let's do this question together go to your sage software purchase invoice it will open up your database now we are going to work on this invoice pay later why because uh, it would be uh, it would be check so click on check what's the check number 176 invoice number given to us bf-100 then the date is also given to us what's the date guys date is given to us may the 7th next one supplier take a look is the supplier there better foods the supplier is not there so we're going to write the supplier name exactly what is given to you b capital f capital press tab and it says choose quick add continue or full add so this time we're going to choose quick add press ok and next one now it is item description what is item description what did we purchase pay for we paid for food for weekly appreciation appreciation barbecue for employees how many employees one two three four nine hundred no guys there's no information so there's no price this must be an amount so click on amount or tab on amount how much is ninety five dollars HST and so in the question it says no charge so we're going to work on as HST zero or no tax so a Z means zero tax and no tax so we are going to click on no tax then account account charge to entertainment expense account so it has to be expense account so go to expense all these accounts are being categorized as assets liability and expense so look for the account which is called entertainment expense so entertainment expense guys what is the account number 5100 I click on it 5100 comes there come out of this entry take a look again $95 $95 did we complete the question no one thing is remaining which is called store this transaction as weekly recurring entry what is that information it's right here guys so click on do not click bring your mouse it says store as recurring transactions click on it and it says frequency monthly but no we're going to do it weekly we're going to uh, do the appreciation barbecue of employees weekly basis so click on weekly press ok then take a look at your invoice quickly one more time everything looks good 
nope, this one, pay later. We have to put in a check, 176, according to our question. This automatically changes. So we just want to make sure everything is good. Take a look at the report. Both sides balancing. Yes, both sides balancing. Good stuff. And then now we're going to post it. The transaction was posted successfully. Press OK. Come out of this transaction. Question number 10, done, guys. Last question for this class. Next one, question number 11. Purchase invoice number SC-701, dated May the 7th, 2019. Let's read the question. From Spotless Company, $180 plus 27 HST for weekly cleaning of office. Purchase invoice number $207. So if you add 180 plus 27, it's become 207. So we solve the question. Term 130 and 60, store as weekly recurring transaction. So let's read the term one more time. I will give you 1% discount if you pay me in 30 days. Otherwise, pay me full amount, which is N in 60 days. So we understood the question. Store as weekly recurring transaction. So this is happening weekly. The office cleaning happening every week. We understood the question. We did the question. We understood the question. Now we're going to record the question. Let's read it. Let's do the question. Go to Sage Software. Purchase invoice. So we have now the check, now the cash, now the direct deposit. No, we do not have any of those. Why? Because it says the term. Term means pay later. Invoice number. What's the invoice number? SC-701. What's the date given to us in the question? 7th of May. So no need to change the date. What's the name of the company? Spotless company. So spotless, you are able to see spotless company right there. Okay. Item description. What is an item? What did we buy or sell? We did weekly cleaning of office. Weekly cleaning of office. How many offices? One, two, four, nine. No, we do not have the number of offices, but it says just the office. So that means this is an amount. Click on. 100 and, uh, tab and punch in the amount 180 and it has uh, HST as well. So HST automatically calculated for me as $27. Expense account automatically comes on. Come out of this transaction. Take a look at your totals. 180 plus 27, 207. Exact numbers according to your question. Uh, early terms 130 and 60. Exactly what it is. Take a look at your transaction one more time. Your invoice, your date. Pay later. Click on report, display, display, both sides balancing. Yes, both sides balancing, done. Press post. And the transaction has been posted successfully. We have done. We close that window. We come back to our main window, which is our Sage software. Now we have the fields part number one done. Now here, how we are going to close this and then create a backup and then change the file name and send it to your teacher. How are we able to do that? Now, click on the X button right here. It will ask you, do you want to backup this company before closing? Yes, so press OK. It will tell you what is the file name. So guys, in here, you have to write your name. Whose file? This is my file. So I put it, my name in there. Then my HID. So punch in your HID, then your class section, GB, 2S1, 2S2, 2S3, 2S4, whatever section it is. And then what part are you doing? Fields, part number one. So you have done fields, part number one. So if you're doing part number two, then you're putting part number two. Press OK. It will tell you this is not exist. Do you want to create it? Answer is yes. You create it. It will process and it will create your backup. It will give you a message, backup in progress. Then it will backup your file. It will give you a message, backup complete. Press OK. This will close down your database for your first part. Where is it now? Let's take a look. Go in your downloads. In your downloads, or on your desktop 
Whatever you save it, it comes first. Once you open it, there are two files. Now there are three items. One is backup. Double click on backup and you're able to see the backup comes right in here. So now we need to change the name of the file to send it to, to attach it with your email. How? <laughs> click on your file, go view and file extension. This must be on. So if it is not on, you have to turn it on. Make it on, right click on it and rename. Rename the file in a way that it will only the extension. So what is the name? DOCX. DOCX would be the extension you're going to change. Then press enter. It will tell you if you change, you want to sure, yes. So I change it, the file into docs. Now I go to my email address. So I go to my email address, open my email and compose. So I compose my message. It will open, try to compose my message right in here. Now the name, the subject of the file. What is the subject of file guys? Fields part one. Then I need to attach the file. Where's the file? File is on desktop under chapter fields. Find either under desktop or under downloads. So here your file, open it. It will smoothly attach with your email. Then student name. So your name guys. Then student ID which is guys HID. So I'm going to write in HID here, 109456, then class ID. So class ID can be GB, 2S1, 2S2, and then your phone number. Right, your phone number. So all of this information must be added with your file. Why? With your email. Why? So it will be given to me with the proper student information. Then my email address. What is my email address? Assignment.tariq at CanadaHenson.com. Then double check one more time. Assignment, fields. This is name, student ID, class ID. My file it attach. Yes. Click on the send button. This is how it will go into my email, guys. Take a look. Now I have my file comes uh, right in here. So this is how my file so this is how my file comes right in here. It says fields part number one, the name of the subject, backup Tariq Khan and HID, student name, HID, class ID and phone number. This is how it looks like on my screen. That's it for today, guys. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next part, fields part number two. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.